In this video, we're going to look at using the area method to multiply numbers. Here is a number sentence. 34 times 21. The first thing we need to do is draw our box. As we're multiplying two two-digit numbers, we need a box that has two down and two across. We need to partition the number 34. So we have 30 and then 4. Along the top, we'll put 30 on top of one box and 4 on top of the other. Now let's partition the number 21. So we have 20 and 1. So down the side we're going to put 20 next to one box and 1 next to the other. Now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. Let's start with 20 multiplied by 30. We know that 2 times 3 is 6. So we can use related facts to know that 20 times 30 is 600. Now we can work out 1 times 30, which is 30. Next, we can work out 20 times 4. We know that 2 times 4 is 8, so 20 times 4 is 80. Then we can work out 1 times 4, which is 4. Now that everything has been multiplied, we can add the numbers inside the box to get our answer. So first we have 4, then 3 add 8 is 11, and 6 add 1 is 7. So the answer is 714. Here is a number sentence, 42 times 38. Let's start by partitioning the number 42. We have 40 and 2. So I'm going to put those numbers along the top of the box. Now let's partition the number 38. We have 30 and 8. So we're going to put those numbers along the side of the box. Now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. Let's start by multiplying 30 with 40. I know that 3 times 4 is 12, so 30 times 40 is 1200. Now we can multiply 8 by 40. I know that 8 times 4 is 32, so 8 times 40 is 320. Next, we can work out 30 times 2. I know that 3 times 2 is 6, so 30 times 20 is 60. And then we work out 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is 16. Now that everything has been multiplied, we can add the numbers inside the box to get our answer. So first we have 6, then 2 add 6 add 1 is 9, 2 add 3 is 5, and then we have 1000. So the answer is 1596. Here is a number sentence, 268 multiplied by 37. Our box is going to be different this time because we have a three digit number multiplied by a two digit number. First, let's partition the number 268. So we have 200, 60 and 8. So I'm going to put those numbers along the top of the box. Now let's partition the number 37. We have 30 and 7. So we're going to put those numbers along the side of the box. Now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. If you have a pen and paper to hand, pause the video and have a go at working out the answer. Write your answer in the comment section below. Let's start with 30 multiplied by 200. I know that 3 times 2 is 6, so 30 times 200 is 6000. Now we can work out 30 times 60. I know that 3 times 6 is 18. So 30 times 60 is 1,800. Next, we need to work out 30 times 8. I know that 3 times 8 is 24, so 30 times 8 is 240. Then we can work out 7 times 200. I know that 7 times 2 is 14, so 7 times 200 is 1,400. Then we work out 7 times 60. I know that 7 times 6 is 42, so 7 times 60 is 420. 
And then finally, we can multiply 7 times 8. 7 times 8 is 56. Now that everything has been multiplied, we can add the numbers inside the box to get our answer. So we have 6, then 4 add 2 add 5 is 11, then 8 add 4 add 2 add 4 add 1 is 19, and then 6 add 1 add 1 add 1 is 9. So the answer is 9916.